this is the battery that came out of my Lexus. It's a Group 24 battery. Oddly enough, that's the same size battery that's in the RAV. It weighs 40, really close to 43 pounds. It has 700 cold cranking amps, 875 cranking amps. I've been thinking about going to something a little smaller. One thing that came to mind was, well, I did put a 51R from a Honda in my Corolla. Which you can see is pretty low on, basically cuts the weight in half. But the problem is, is that this only has 500 cold cranking amps and 625 cranking amps. Not necessarily something that I could use. Why don't we try to go smaller? Why don't we go to something so small that it has more cranking amps and cold cranking amps than both of these? And I don't have to hurt myself to pull it out. These have been making the waves. Let's have a comparison in size here. This is an anti-gravity ATX 20 HD 900 cranking amps. Weighs five pounds. Now don't you find it odd that it doesn't say cold cranking amps on there? Well, the difference between these two and this, this is a lithium ion battery, and lithium ion isn't exactly phased by cold weather. So, we're gonna, we're gonna put this really light battery on and save myself approximately 37 pounds in weight. So, I think it'll be good for the Lexus. More importantly that I really really like is this white weight light pardon me, light weight. It uh if I cut I'm gonna try to come up with a quick release system for the for this bat for this battery. So if there's periods of time where I don't drive the car, even though it really doesn't matter about that, I can go weeks on end without driving the car and this battery will be just fine. Plus there's a little there's a little button here. Let's see if I can Tells me if it's good or not. Anyway, if I drive if it for if I don't drive it during certain times in the winter, it gets really frigid. Even though it really doesn't matter because a lithium battery can handle it, I'm, I can still have the option: quick release it out, pull it into the house, give it a nice little trickle char trickle charge with a uh, lithium ion uh, charger, and then when I want to pop it back in, just pop it back in. I have the terminals on order for this, and when I get the terminals, I'm going to show you how to make the uh, the uh, quick release system for that. Oh yeah, on a side note, to give to give this battery the best possible chance, I'm also replacing the terminals. Now the positive terminal is in the car. I already changed it. This is the negative terminal, brand new from Toyota. I'm trying to give it the best chance possible of, of being perfect. Now interestingly enough, also a side note, people who own newer Mustangs swear by these. The, th the, t the ATX 20 HD and the ATX 30 HD. I actually have a friend with a, a fellow Sportcross owner who has a 30. I went with the 20 because it saves saves me some more weight. And in a car that weighs 3,410 pounds, saving weight is paramount. So this is what I have. I'm going to start doing videos again. So this this was the introduction. For that, I have a bunch of other stuff that needs to be done. I've got a lot of stuff to do on the RAV. And the biggest one of them all that I don't want to disclose just yet is... Uh, 
I'll just say something involving the Corolla. Please subscribe, like the video, comment which how you feel about these lithium-ion batteries or opinions across the board. I'll answer them as best I can. This is A for Hachi signing off.